Hey everybody, I'm back again today with another video. And today, you know we're gonna talk about luxury. Cheers. So you guys, let's talk about shoes today. So I wanna review one of my favorite Christian Louboutin heels. And here they are. They're in their designated dust bags. I don't have the box with me right now, I'm traveling. But um, they came with two. And these were purchased for me on my birthday, I wanna say maybe two years ago. Um, and um, I've worn them a few times actually, and I actually wore them during this trip. So let's get into them. So in this dust bag, we have, yay. We have the Christian Louboutin Jonatinas. Let me get the other one out. Here they are, you guys. The Christian Louboutin Jonatinas. These are the bottoms of them. I wore them yesterday um, to a wedding, so. <laughs> The fact they got pretty dirty but they haven't the red still has not scraped off so that's good um here they are you guys they're very sexy okay um so let's get into it so it is a black um napa leather kind of like that calf kid skin leather that louboutin does for his leather um it's very soft very pliable very malleable so eventually these will fit me a little less tight around here um because the leather does stretch um up here we have another leather piece that's attached which is the strap and it's attached to this pvc backing for the shoe so it's almost transparent so when you're wearing the shoe you can't even see that like it looks like this strap is just floating around your ankle it's very very sexy um skinny cigarette little heel you could find this type of heel on the pigal foley's or on the so kate's um this is a hundred millimeter heel height the Jonatinas, I believe, only come in a um, hundred millimeter heel height. So oh, I'm, I'm like crossing my fingers, crossing them for them to come out in the 120s because then I'm going to scoop up the nude pair. But yeah, guys, I wore these last night and, you know, the PVC has a little bit of wear. It's still pretty, though, and transparent. The thing with the black leather on the Louboutins is it's like it's so malleable like any little thing will scuff them. I have a tiny little scuff right here but it's so minuscule um, and you can probably buff that out with some like leather um, leather cleaner or maybe even like I don't know don't listen to what I'm saying don't ruin your shoes <laughs> but um, I'll figure it out um, and yeah you guys like they're just a great shoe like to have in your collection um, because they can be dressed up, dressed down. You, you can wear these casually. You can wear these to events. I mean, you can't go wrong with these. They literally will match anything. Um, that's why I want the nude pair, but I'm waiting for him to come out with 120s. Um, and um, and yeah, and they're just very sexy as as typical Louboutin shoes are just very very sexy I'm gonna close this over here for you guys so you can see how it looks this is how it would look on the ankle um, this is very interesting because the way it secures to your ankle is with this little push button it's a little gold push button that you would put around your ankle to um, secure the shoe. Very interesting, right? That it's not like the typical like buckle. It's that. 
and you know more recently i know he came out with the luby um queen style which is a similar right strappy sandal but it has like a little bit of a platform and it does not have this pvc piece it has a very thin um strap back here and a very thin strap up here the straps on the jonatinas are a bit thicker for my liking um i kind of wish this was a little bit thinner i do appreciate this for the ankle um but yeah I'm, i mean i might look into those too i'm not sure i'm not sure if i'm a fan of the platform on the strappy sandal but anyway let me know your thoughts down below i'm gonna model these for you guys and i'll talk to you guys soon cheers